Welcome, Replay viewers. How are you today? We're going to be reading a poem today by Louise Bogan. So get ready. Here we go. Hi, y'all. This week I'm not at the park. I'm in my living room in my usual spot. And next week I'll be back at parks. But for today, here I am in my living room. I'm glad that you're here. How are you doing? How have your creative processes been? I always love to hear how things are in the life of my viewers. Gray Irish 76. I don't think I've seen you before. It'd be great if you'd let me know who you are. I'd love to know your name. My name is Julie. I'm a creative life coach. My work is about inspiring artistic rebirth in folks and bringing their words to life. So um, today we're going to be working with a poem by Louise Bogan. And how this works is I read a poem through one time. And then I give a writing prompt, and then we read it through a second time. I usually give the writing prompt first, and that's what I'll do again today. Um, I don't have it written out yet, though, so you'll have to write it down. Okay? That sound like a deal? I also want to let you know that earlier today I did a poetry performance scope. And in that scope, um, it was kind of tough to do that. Uh, then I did a scope about how that poem came to be. So for the first time, I read my own poetry here, and um, I gave a little instruction and then a writing prompt. So if you're curious about that or would like to do that, that's back in my feed. So go either to my replays from today or to catch me, and you can check that out and then write a poem yourself, which sounds pretty cool. But today's poem is by Louise Bogan. This poem is actually about poetry, a poem about what a poem thinks what a poem thinks. This book by Mary Kinsey um, is uh, everything I love and hate about academics is in this book. It's so dense to read. Very valuable material, but oh, it's heavy. It's like every page is a higher than MFA level reading, but it's good. So I am plugging away because I want to bring you guys good information. So I keep studying myself. Anyway, this poem is by Louise Bogan. Um, so the, it starts with now you great stanza. So your writing prompt is now you great. And then put with some sort of reading, some kind of genre, or even a person. Now you great man. Now you great leader. Now you great warrior. That would be really fun, actually. And then you could model, if you choose to, model the writing of, of Louise Bogan or do your own. Now you great paragraph. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You can get silly. Now you great trumpet. And then as always, now you great era. Yeah, there you go, Lori. Just throw stuff out there. And then write 10 lines if you can on that subject. It would really be kind of fun. You could even do like stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. <laughs> Can't get it. Stream of consciousness. Start with now you great era. And then go now you great popcorn flavor. Um, now you great look around your room now you great windowsill you know now you great light bulb and just write from there that'd be really fun too so anyway i don't know if louise bogan or mary kinsey would approve but that's what we'll do okay so that's your prompt when i get to the bottom of the poem i'll stop i'll remind you of the prompt and then you can stay you can go but during the poem i can't respond to you okay okay it's great to have you all here thanks for participating if you'd like to share with your friends this would be a great time to do that right before the poem starts or right before the poem starts up again so if you share this now then people can come when it's at the bottom of the poem or not but i hope you'll follow me because i am loving sharing my sharing work with people sharing art with people sharing possibilities with people and you came to hear the poem not to hear me ramble so here we go single sonnet by louise bogan now you great stanza, you heroic mold, bend to my will for I must give you love, the weight in the heart that breathes but cannot move, which to endure flesh only makes so bold. Take up, take up as it were lead or gold, the burden, test the dreadful mass thereof. No stone, slate, metal under or above earth is so ponderous, so dull so cold too long as ocean bed bears up the ocean as earth's core bears the earth have i borne this too long have lovers bending for their kiss felt bitter force cohering without motion 
staunch meter. Great song. It is yours at length to prove how stronger you are than my strength. <sighs> Hello to Jay. I saw Jay said hi. Thank you. Ooh, so you're prompt. Now you great. Now you great. Did you hear what Louise was talking about, about the heaviness of a stanza, a sonnet, a single sonnet? Uh, Mary Kinsey, the writer of this book, talks about how poets don't write much about forms of poetry or writing anymore like they used to. I think they do. I think they're just not as common, perhaps, and there is a lot more confessional poetry. I'll go with her there. So, anyway, I'll read it one more time through more slowly. My goodness, thank you for the hearts. They make me so happy. Your prompt, now you great. The poem, Single Sonnet by Louise Bogan. Now, you great stanza, you heroic mold, bend to my will, for I must give you love. The weight in the heart that breathes but cannot move, which to endure flesh only makes so bold. Take up, take up, as it were lead or gold, the burden test the dreadful mass thereof. No stone, slate, metal, under or above earth is so ponderous, so dull, so cold. Too long as ocean bed bears up the ocean, as earth's core bears the earth, have I borne this. Too long have lovers bending for their kiss, felt bitter force cohering without motion. Staunch meter, great song, it is yours at length to prove how stronger you are than my strength. <sighs> Thank you, Louise Bogan. And perhaps you think now about sonnets and stanzas and lovers bending for a kiss a little bit differently. <laughs> My name is Julie Jordan Scott. I'm delighted that you're here. My work as a creative life coach is to inspire artistic rebirth in you and others. The world is waiting for your words. The world is waiting for you to express yourself, to get your voice, your projects, your, your life force out there. And that's all the work that I do. That's what I love doing the most. That's why I like showing up here and being with you. So take those words, take that poem, and write from the prompt today. Now you great. Dot, dot, dot. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you tomorrow about 12.15, 12.30-ish Pacific time right here. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.